Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today I am discussing the PlayStation 1 Classic. So, Sony basically looked at the Super Nintendo Classic, went, hey, I can do the same thing, and then did exactly that. But the difference is that I feel like PlayStation 1 games, I don't know, at least for me, are way more accessible than Super Nintendo or NES, because... I found the Super Nintendo and NES Classic kind of a cool way to experience games in the highest fidelity possible of those systems. It made it easy because, I mean, you just plug it in with an HDMI instead of dealing with like a frame meister and all that crap. And you got to use the controllers, the original controllers, the way they were way back when. They had the packaging. Now, they do have the packaging, and they unfortunately have the controllers, just like how they were at launch, instead of including the DualShock controllers. I don't know about you guys, but I hate the original PlayStation controller. It just looks so freaking weird. Like, it just looks wrong to me. I understand it's basically a Super Nintendo controller, but with handles, but I just don't like it. It just does not look correct. And I know it's because I've seen DualShocks my whole life. And I, I think I've maybe seen one of those in person. But I don't know. I don't know why they didn't do DualShock controllers. And the thing is, is that, I mean, you can already play PlayStation 1 games on the PS3 and PS2. So, I mean, it's just such an easier console, in my opinion, to play at the higher fidelity with the same control. I mean, PlayStation really hasn't changed their controller very much over the years. I mean, Nintendo has had a drastic evolution. Every single console is completely different, but PlayStation's kind of the same, you know? And that's why it was kind of unique getting the NES and Super Nintendo Classic, because you get the original controllers that were used for those systems. And... I don't know, for some reason I'm just not excited about this one. I mean, it's like Final Fantasy VII, I mean, I have like three copies of that for the PS1, and I understand that this is not the same for everyone. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have not experienced these games for the first time, but I mean, I think you can buy Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 4, I could be wrong. I know you can buy it on the PS3, I know they've re-released the PlayStation 1 games over and over and over. I, I know that they've done this with some of the Super Nintendo games, but not to the same extent, you know? Nintendo's always been really sketchy about their eShop for some reason. And for some reason, the Super Nintendo Classic was the easiest way to get and play those classics. And it was cheaper than any of the Nintendo ways, whereas PlayStation constantly has flash sales on their store, and you can get them for dirt cheap. And... A lot of the great games for the PlayStation 1 have been remastered or remade nowadays. I mean, the Crash Bandicoot collection came out. That was amazing. There's the Spyro collection that's coming out. Or did it come out? I don't know. It kind of dropped off my radar after I found out, like, one of the games was on the disc and the rest had to be downloaded because Activision is Activision. I, I don't... I'm just not excited about it. And the price point, I don't understand at all. Why is it $100? I don't get it. I mean, the NES Classic was 60 and I understand why the Super Nintendo Classic was $20 more, because it came with another controller. But what's what's their excuse for the, the extra $20 on top of the Super Nintendo? It's not like the hardware is more expensive for this thing to run. I mean, it's PlayStation... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is, because it is PlayStation 1. They do have to render 3D graphics. I don't know, though. I just can't... I I personally can't fork over $100 for 20 PlayStation 1 games. I can't think of 20 PlayStation 1 games that I really need to play that I can't play in a re remastered format or that I own already, you know? And like I said, I know this is just me, but I mean, I see cheap PlayStation 1 games all the time. And the fact that you can use them in your PS3 and the PS3 controller is basically the same thing as the DualShock controller, it looks almost exactly the same, feels almost exactly the same. You get the same feeling with the upgraded, you know, 
Um, I, I think you can hit different filters. You can change the video. I haven't played a PlayStation 1 game on PS3 in forever, but I know there are different ways that kind of upscaled it a bit. And you get to play it at the best graphics. Now, from what I've seen in the trailer, they're not really upscaling the games at all. So it's basically just the same as popping a PS1 game into your PS3. So I don't really know the selling point besides like Sony diehard fans. And I know Nintendo diehard fans is what the Super Nintendo Classic and NES Classic were, but I mean, I don't think this thing is sold out yet. I know this is kind of dumb. I haven't checked beforehand again. I know I checked earlier, but I just want to double check. Oh, look at that. It did sell out. Okay. Interesting. It took a while to sell out because I know I kind of was going back and forth on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to... I don't know. I was kind of going back and forth whether I wanted it or not, but I kind of came to the conclusion I own most of these games already. It's not for me. But I mean, if you're, I guess if you're a PlayStation diehard, it's fine. It's just, I feel like $100 is really steep, you know? And I know that 80 was kind of pushing it, but ah, there's no DualShocks. We only know a couple of the games so far. And I know they're going to announce more later because it's coming out in December. But it's kind of weird that they're not announcing more of them at the time that they're trying to get people to pre-order. Maybe they just kind of expect the same frenzy that Nintendo got. And I guess, I mean, it's sold out at Best Buy. I mean, I just checked. Maybe it's sold out other places. But back uh, just earlier today, I checked and it was available everywhere. It didn't sell out like that, like the Super Nintendo Classic and NES Classic. I just don't think there are as many diehard PlayStation fans as are Nintendo. I don't know. It's I, I feel like a hypocrite talking about it like this because I do own those other two consoles. It's just, I mean, the PlayStation 1, I mean, I have so many different PlayStation 1s. And like I said, I've got a PS3 in my bedroom that I use for Netflix and games. And I can just pop a PS1 game into it, you know? And I know emulation is a thing for Super Nintendo Classic and NES Classic, but... I mean, I could play these games on my PSP. I know you could do the same thing, but I've just been playing PS1 games for so long on my PSP. I'm sure a lot of people felt that way about the NES Classic and Super Nintendo Classic. I'm not trying to say that this is a, a bad product. I'm just kind of giving you my opinion on it about what I think of it. I'm just kind of conflicted, you know? I, I, I feel like I should be excited for it. I just can't think of any titles that come off or, you know that can really pop up in my mind. I mean, Siphon Filter. Uh, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do Twisted Metal when they don't have the analog sticks. If they do, it's going to suck with using the D-pad. I mean, maybe it'll be fine, but I just don't get why they didn't do the DualShocks. I don't know. And it's, it's really funny just how they just completely... They didn't do anything unique with their system. PlayStation literally just copy Nintendo. I mean, 20 games, exactly the same amount as Super Nintendo Classic. Just the layout of it, probably using some sort of proprietary thing here. Maybe it's USB. I watched the video. I don't remember what it was. The way you pause games, suspend them is exactly the same. It's just, there's so many similarities. It's, it's so funny. It's like these, con the, uh, these console manufacturers are just like, Let's just keep taking Raspberry Pis and making them into cool-looking systems. And I know that's the argument for the Super Nintendo Classic and the NES Classic. It's just... I don't know. Maybe just the nostalgia is greater for me, but the funny thing is, is I didn't have an NES or Super Nintendo growing up. I had a Nintendo 64. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm very conflicted about this new PlayStation. I think the price point is too high. That's my main point. I feel like it should have been $80. I think that'd be a nice spot for it. I feel like they'd still make a lot of money on it. I feel like technology makes it cheaper. I mean, it's if you think about it, that's what, like half the price? A third of the price? It's a third of the price of a PS4. I mean, that's kind of crazy if you think about it. Just doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. But that's up to you guys. Again, I'm also a person that has gone game hunting a lot. So I've seen large amounts of ps1 games i've seen a large amount of ps1 systems like i said you can play them on multiple consoles already it's not like the consoles have been phased out i mean 
Yes, you can play Super Nintendo cartridges on a Super Nintendo, but a Super Nintendo is pretty expensive these days, and you can't use HDMI, and it's not going to look as good. You have to get all these different things to make it look good, to upscale it, and to have that original feel. Whereas that cheapens, or that makes it a little bit cheaper, more affordable to experience the same thing on the Super Nintendo Classic, especially with Earthbound, which is a, like, what, $200 game. But then again, the argument is made for emulation again. I don't know. I just, I don't feel excited for this product. That's, I just wanted to share my conflicted feelings with you guys because I just don't, I don't know what games they're going to put on it that are going to draw people in. I mean, they got Final Fantasy VII, but like I said, I feel like it's been on everything. I mean, you can play Final Fantasy VII on your PC. I think they put it on Steam, if I remember correctly. And they put it on PlayStation 4. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I need to know in the comments. What do you guys think about the PlayStation 1 Classic? I, I mean, it's coming out December 3rd. I'm not super hyped for it, but I don't know. I'm hyped for, I know this is, I sound like a Nintendo fanboy, I'm really not, but I am hyped for a Nintendo 64 classic, and that's just because the emulation is a bitch with a Nintendo 64, it takes a lot to set up, especially with the controller, and playing Nintendo 64 games on the Nintendo 64, they, you have to have a CRT TV, and, or otherwise it just looks like crap. So playing on my giant HD TV over here would just make it look awful. And that's I think that's what the difference is. I think they found a way to make the Super Nintendo games and NES games look great on an HD TV, whereas they've already had that solution for PlayStation games. And I think that's the reason why I'm not so excited for this product. And I also don't know the other games on it. I, I just need to know what the other games are because the, the titles they've announced, I just don't care. I really don't. So... Let me know what you guys think. If you're excited, you're picking it up, let me know in the comment section why. I mean, you're not wrong. It's fine if you are. Maybe you are a, uh, you have a lot of nostalgia for the system. I can see that. I do love that. I mean, they did the box again. I, I, I'm such a fan of the little things that they put into it. I mean, this box looks so great. Oh, and they, for some reason, don't include the USB AC adapter. I don't get that. Why would they not include that? That doesn't make any sense to me. It's a little plastic box that you plug into the wall. Can you? Why? That's like what a Nintendo. That's a Nintendo move. Why did you pull a Nintendo move, Sony? Come on. So, there's the PlayStation One Classic. Let me know if you're gonna get it. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. And as always, everyone have a fantastic day. See you guys. I can already see the comments now. You just rambled, going back and forth on the system. You didn't give me a clear cut answer, Fanta. What a pointless video. And the point of the video was not giving you a clear-cut answer to whether or not this is a great product because it's very subjective because it's it's just a nostalgia product. That's what the Super Nintendo Classic and the NES Classic were. But I do feel that the job of making those games in a legal way look better, I feel like the Super Nintendo Classic and NES Classic accomplished that. Whereas, like I said, PlayStation, it's already easily available for you to do that i don't know that's just my take on it i already i already see the dislikes pouring in that's fine these are the after credit people these are you guys are the the fans that watch all the way through and you want to know what i'm drinking because some people will be asking already because they didn't watch all the way through but you will know i am drinking pineapple strawberry Lacroix. drinking Lacroix again if Lacroix sponsors me that'd be great because i have a crippling addiction to these things now because they're just amazing. I I don't know why I haven't had these in the past, but they're really good. There's like lightly flavored bubbly water. I don't it doesn't sound that great, but when you you have one, I don't know. I'm not going to sell it. They're not paying me. <laughs>